Welcome you all to this video of 8th class geography, 3rd chapter, that is migration. What is migration? Migration refers to any movement by human beings between one geographical region to another with an aim to settle down permanently or temporarily there. So, our journey to a place for picnic or for business purposes or to attend any function will not be considered migration. From time immemorial, people have moved from place to place, even from continent to continent. For example, people from Asia moved to Africa and Europe, people from Europe to America. People moved from place to place in search of knowledge, opportunity, spiritual fulfillment or to escape persecutions. Buddhist monks from many countries came to India and lived here for some time. The Jews and Parsis came and settled here to escape from the persecution. These are again examples of migration. We can broadly classify migration into two, that is international migration and internal migration. International migration refers to the movement of people from one country to another across the international borders is called international migration. Examples Aryans moved from Mediterranean region to India. People from Britain moved to America. People from Iraq, Libya and Afghanistan moved to Europe. The two terms are associated with the international migration. They are immigration and emigration. Immigration when a person moves to a new country and reaches there, it is immigration. When he moves out of his home country to settle down in another country, that is emigration. From immigration and emigration, we get two new words, that is immigrant and emigrant. When a person reaches a new country to settle down there, he is immigrant. When he moves out of his home country, to settle down in another country, he is called an emigrant. And brain drain is a negative aspect associated with international migration. What is brain drain? Brain drain refers to the migration of skilled and educated people or professionals from their home country to a new country. It is a loss for the home country, that is why it is called brain drain. For example, doctors engineers, IT professionals, etc. migrate to America and Europe from India. Though it is a gain for Americans and Europeans, it is a loss for the India. Trained and skilled professionals are needed in every part of the world. Every country invests a lot in education and training of young people. When these people, after their studies and training, Migrate to developed countries in search of better standard of living or high salaries is a loss for the home country. Now let us discuss internal migration. Internal migration refers to the movement of people from one location to another location within the country. And this internal migration can be rural to rural, rural to urban, urban to rural, urban to Okay, okay. Let us discuss them one by one. First, rural to rural migration. It refers to the movement of people from one village to another village. Example, after marriage, a girl moved to her move from her village to the village of her husband, or people move to another village in search of job during different seasons. Next is rural to urban. Under this, people move from village to towns in search of employment, high living standard, education, etc. Under urban to urban, people move from one town to another town for job or for higher living standard. Then there is urban to rural migration. Under this, people move from town or cities to villages. Poor people may find it difficult 
to bear the high living cost in cities or, or unemployment so people may move to villages from the towns. Generally, people do not want to leave their home country or original place of living. Then why they migrate or what are the causes of migration? Study shows migration can be caused by economic factors, marriage, job and education, lack of security. Now, let us discuss them. Economics factor. Studies show that the main factor behind migration is the economic factor. Low agricultural income, unemployment, no other source of income are coming under this factor. Cities and developed countries offer better employment, higher wages or better working conditions. So people move from villages to towns or from town to town or from country to country. Second factor is marriage. Most girls have to migrate to their in-laws places after marriage. Then education. This is another factor because rural areas or underdeveloped countries lack educational facilities especially for highest education. So students migrate from rural areas to towns or from the or from their home country to another country. Then lack of security is another factor. Civil wars, political disturbances, breakout of epidemics forces people to move away from their homeland to another. After discussing the causes of migration, now let us discuss the impact of migration. Demographic consequences or the consequences on population. Migration leads to unbalanced population distribution in the country. When people migrate to a country or place, there the population increases. And in the place from where they migrated, the population decreases. Then only people who can work migrate to another place. Most of them may be men. So aged people, females, children are left behind. So it creates imbalance in age and sex ratio in places. Now let us discuss social consequences. Migration has some social consequences. Migration results in the interaction between various culture, religion, ideas, etc. The interaction of culture may lead to enriching of the culture. In India, interaction of Muslims, Christians, Hindu religions have enriched all the three religions. The cultural life of Indians have enriched by the interaction with the other cultures. There can be conflicts or flight, fights due to the interaction. Due to overpopulation, some cities in India faces the problem of housing leading to the development of slums. Again, let us discuss economic consequences. Migration has direct impact on the sending country from where the migrant come and receiving country to where he comes. The receiving country gains as it gets efficient labor and more manpower. This increases production Thus, national income increases, but it has a negative impact. Due to immigrants, there can be job loss for locals and burden of natu on natural resources and public services is more. Centering country has a negative impact as human resource is lost, but there is a positive impact as migrants send money to their family in their home country. The nation benefits from it. But considering the loss of workforce, the positive gain is nothing. Hope you understood the video. Thank you.